Breaking news. Drivers forced out of their cars after a tanker overturns catching fire on Interstate 75. And good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Cherie Palau. Both sides of the highway are shut down in St. Bernard right now. We have team coverage of the mess, and we begin with WLWT News Science's Emily Wood live at the scene with the very latest. Emily. Mike and Tree, we're at the corner of Vine and Ross in St. Bernard Square. If you take a look behind me, you can see the edge of that semi trailer, those tires just over the overpass here on 75 northbound. Firefighters telling me that the fire is mainly out right now. They just have small hoses on it. I'm also told by a St. Bernard police officer that the driver of that trailer safely made it out of the cab and was taken to the hospital for observation. Ohio Highway Patrol also, as you said, are asking drivers stuck on the highway to evacuate their cars. Police here in St. Bernard are asking anyone at the homes on Clay Street to stay inside at this time, turn off their air conditioning, and shelter in place to prevent from any possible fumes getting inside at this time. Police say a possibly hazardous material is leaking out onto the highway from that tanker truck, and right now it is unknown exactly what it is, but an officer told me that you do not want to breathe it in or have it touch your skin. Now, multiple agencies are a Assisting St. Bernard here tonight, Cincinnati Police and Fire, Norwood, as well as M Elmwood, all here tonight. This is in the heart of the construction on 75, part of the Mill Creek Expressway project, and I'm told that they have been having major issues here in this area, at least five accidents in the recent weeks. We're going to continue to talk with police, get some more updates from the fire department, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we can. Mike and Cherie. All right, Emily Wood out there live for us right now. So, as you heard, people forced to stay in their homes and